Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this cute little seahorse riding in ocean waves and I used Krivlin face paint to do this design. The first step is to take Krivlin creamy fluorescent sunset cake and I love these new split cakes. They're smaller than normal split cakes so you can use them with sponges, you can use them with brushes for one stroke techniques, they're really versatile so I love them. So sponge on the color to your eye and then with the purple and orange on your brush just quickly place the seahorse on the corner of your eye and I had a hard time finding good placement for the seahorse so I just kind of blended him into my eye and then make sure you have that purple color being the um, outline color and then just kind of zigzag your brush for the fin and then also for the little headpiece up there, same thing. Now I'm using Krivlin Split Cake in Ocean. It's the creamy split cake, and I'm just taking the white and the light blue and then dipping the tip of my brush in that dark blue so I get all those colors. And I'm using an oval brush to keep my edges nice and soft because if I was using a square brush, then they'd be um, a little harsh. So you can use a um, oval brush for this and just mimic what you do on the top to the bottom try to make wave like patterns and then on the other side do the same exact thing but obviously don't go over your seahorse so you just want to put it where you can wherever the seahorse is not all of the new creamy split cakes by Krivlin are really pigmented they have great coverage they're vibrant I am in love with them. So I'll provide swatches for you in a later video um, to show you how amazing they are. But for the water side, I'm just doing different curls and swirls and teardrops. I kind of wanted it to have like a fluffy, soft, wave-like effect. And that's what I was going for. So I'm using Kriblin Regular White to do the teardrops and the swirls and all of that and just place them wherever you want. And then on the opposite side, you're gonna do the same exact thing um, wherever you can. So obviously you need to avoid the seahorse and put in those teardrops and swirls wherever there's space available. To bring the two sides of the masks together, I decided to use a BAM stencil and I'm just using part of it here and really sticky paint on my sponge and now it's time to outline. And I didn't want to outline in black since this is a little bit of a softer design. So I used um, Krivlin Creamy Rose, which is one of my favorite colors. It's amazing to use for outlining or for the center of your um, flowers, things like that. It's a really beautiful color. So just outline carefully, try to keep it pretty thin and then you're going to bring in sections of the fin to give it that aquatic feel. Do the same thing to the head and for the eye. Just two little flicks out and then draw in the eyeball there and then flick your brush out for the eyelashes. And that's all there is to outlining. So it's a pretty quick design. To give it a little more dimension, I decided to highlight with some yellow, and this is a fluorescent yellow. And I just used my fluorescent sunset cake, the yellow that's in that. I picked that up with my brush, and I'm just flicking it into the seahorse to give it more character and more interest. So I'm just putting stripes on the face and the body. And to finish it off, some beautiful jewels to make it feel extra special, but this is, of course, not necessary but that's it you're done thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this if you haven't done so already please like comment and subscribe check me out on facebook the link to that is below as well as all of the products i use in this video and where you can buy them thanks